Hey, I'm Q RuPaul, and welcome to Lesson 25 in our series. Today we're going to continue talking about the subjunctive, and I'm going to start out by teaching you a new verb. Esperar, which can have several different meanings depending how it's used in a sentence. The most common are to wait, to hope, or to expect. For example, if you see someone just standing on a street corner for a few minutes looking around, you can go up to them and ask, ¿Qué esperas? What are you waiting for? It all comes down to context. Today we're going to be using the verb esperar, meaning to hope, and it's going to help us in our subjunctive. First, we need to learn it in the first and second person, present tense. Espero, I hope, esperas, you hope. Take a look at this sentence. I hope to be able to go to the beach this weekend. Don't get confused just because it looks like a really long sentence. It's actually made up of small building blocks that you've already learned. You've already learned how to say to be able to. Poder. We use it all the time. And to go. Ir. We've used that more than poder. So all we have to do is put them all together into a sentence. Espero poder ir a la playa este fin de semana. I hope to be able to go to the beach this weekend. See, it's a piece of cake. Take a look at this one. I hope you can go to the beach this weekend. In a sentence like this, the verb esperar is clearly a verb of desire or request. That's one of our triggers for the subjunctive. This sentence has two subjects, I and you. That's a second trigger in the subjunctive. So we know we're going to start with espero que. Throughout the course, we've been utilizing the verb poder, to be able to, to make simple sentences quickly in our head and to be able to get around having to conjugate the second verb. We're going to continue to use that trick with the present subjunctive, but in order to do so, you're going to have to learn those forms of the verb poder. If you don't want to dedicate a lot of time to learning all of these conjugations right now, just focus on the first and second person. But as you can see, they're all very similar, except for nosotros, which is podamos. Now you should have all you need to translate this sentence. I hope you can go to the beach this weekend. Espero que puedas ir a la playa este fin de semana. Let's change the sentence a little bit. I hope Juan can go to the beach. Espero que Juan pueda ir a la playa. Take a look at this sentence. It's utilizing some vocabulary you've learned in previous lessons. I hope you can meet my sister. Espero que puedas conocer a mi hermana. One of the advantages of utilizing this construction with pueda or puedes is that you can come up with sentences very quickly because you're just plugging in the infinitive. That's going to allow you to translate in your head and keep up with conversations in real time. And that's what you want. You want to be conversational, right? What I'd like you to do is start going back through some of your previous lessons and plugging the subjunctive into things you've already learned. Take a look at this sentence. Can you help me? ¿Me puedes ayudar? You just make a few small changes to the sentence and you come up with something like, I hope you can help me. Espero que me puedas ayudar. You can even utilize your T-I-O-N, C-I-O-N cognate trick that you learned way back in the beginning of the course to translate sentences like these. I hope we can participate. Espero que podamos participar. I hope you can cancel the reservation. Espero que puedas cancelar la reservación. I hope I can verify the information. Espero poder verificar la información. Did I trick you with that last one? There was only one subject, so we didn't use the subjunctive. Do you remember way back in Lesson 5 when you learned the word I, which means there is or there are? Well, you used one word for everything. I fresas, are there any strawberries? I see us, are there any chairs? Well, the subjunctive of I is aya. Now that you know the present subjunctive of I, it should be super easy to make sentences. So look at the first one. Are there any tables outside? Hay mesas afuera? That's not the subjunctive. I hope there are tables outside. Espero que haya mesas afuera. Well, that's it for today's lesson. As usual, I encourage you to go out there and practice your Spanish. If you don't practice it, you're never going to get any better. Until next time, hasta luego.